What's up guys? This is the Roseman Lamb back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off where we left off, uh, as somewhat of a regular fixture, the Venetians have come down to lay siege to the capital of Rome. So without further ado, let's crack on. And I have not forgotten that the British have, the British have laid a force or landed a force near Naples and I need to destroy those buildings buildings I've currently got being built because I know I will not hold them in the event of or when the British take control of the city. So mortars out front again. Let's put some cavalry outside. Not the unit of infantry but don't worry. Bring my general inside, find cover, and let's position our men on the walls once more. And let's put two of armed citizenry here. So now these remaining units to try and do something sneaky. barricades although we've seen that the AI never seems to be able to the AI seems more determined to kill the units rather than to actually break the walls so it remains to be seen how useful that'll be how useful these will be let's just line up our men as all our artillery fires So we do have got a couple of you know, pike units, but they can't do anything till there's a way in the city. Looks like they might actually focus their efforts here. So it may even be worth. That's right, fire them off. It might be worth eventually sac not sacrificing this unit, but sacrificing it slightly and deploy them here, so the near misses keep hitting the wall. Allow the mortars to keep doing their, their work, they will miss. But look at this shot, for instance. Who is that near? So, your conscripts advancing on the left alongside unit of mercenaries. The bulk of the effort is going towards the center. It's unfortunate my most experienced unit is going to take a hell of a battering, but. To do. So our first salvo is unleashed. I think we made that unit route. No, nope, they are back. It's understandable. They've got no real reason to retreat. But we will do a lot of damage to them as they advance. As our brave watermen are ready to take the charge of a bunch of light infantry. We present and fire everything we got. The mercenaries are routed. We've attacked with field artillery. But as we've done as we've tested before, it's not really something we're that bothered about. These guys are currently engaging the conscripts. But at least they're still engaging someone. They've got guys up on the wall soon. My cavalry will deal with this militia unit because we will need to send an infantry unit to go and engage these chaps on the wall. Let's bring our cavalry around. Let's engage this infantry unit immediately. going to have some people get near the gate but hopefully not enough to take it so this one could get a bit bloody I'm hoping we can just 
destroy this central attack fairly quickly. Fire roll off for you. There you go, the militia have been killed, so fall my cavalry back. But everyone needs to swarm the gates in order to kill this infantry so they don't get a foothold. This corner unit is broken, which is nice. Let's get these guys back on there. So you guys go back here. You guys take your positions back on this section of the wall. Get everyone, get everyone back manning their guns, basically. Cover over onto this flank to get ready to take out some of these chaps. We've unfortunately not got a great opportunity to try and engage their cannons. Not until we can get there, entice their cavalry a bit nearer. That's my preference. I'd rather them get their cavalry close and I can engage them a bit more with my men on the walls. Then I can outmaneuver them, take out their artillery. Hold steady, lads. So the men on the walls are probably going to get this unit to route specifically, so let's get... One cover unit out to engage the militia conscripts. These guys route. I'll set these guys to fire it well off. So they don't accidentally kill a bunch of my own cavalry. They've already hit one of my cavalry units with artillery fire. Let's just take this opportunity to chew up a bunch of these units right now. Let's run these guys off the wall. Because one more shot. They've just fired, so we should have our men clear of the walls. Prior to the shot coming in, the rest of the battery have fired. There it goes. We didn't use any extra men. back because they're now being engaged by men at the front. These guys take this section of the wall. I see their cavalry charging around. Oh good, that was just our men going into the armory. So I see their cavalry. I want to run my men this way so that we can thin out their numbers. Let's thin out their numbers! Okay, so these guys are now being attacked up here. Come on, lads, don't fire at will. Kill all my guys. One volley would be enough, and I'll turn them off, fire at will. There you go, now charge. These guys may as well go back towards the rear, because otherwise they're going to start getting engaged on the wall. Same with you, really. Yes, they've attacked with the Regiment of Horse, so we're e we're, we, we, were, we would be evenly matched on the quality of level, but we outnumber them significantly, so no real issues there. Them a little bit just because we've got so many of their, their cavalry still within our bulk of, bulk of horses, then get them back. But I suspect 
the Earl's decision will end up being a decision that keeps their troops outside of the wall. That's my suspicion, and I'll be more than happy to just shoot at my guys with artillery at range. So they made a second breach. Not that it will help them. So I'm curious as to what their next target will be. Good, they've stopped firing, so that's good for us. But I think they don't want to attack because they know that I will destroy them. So they've got no one to shoot at. And they don't want to attack. Okay, so let's get my this cavalry. Let's get one unit safely in the walls, not up the steps like one tr weirdly ended up. I mean, if they're just going to stand still, I'm going to run. I'm going to walk this cat. Oh, okay, they are trying to run me down. But let's go the long way around. And let's run. Take out their cannons. If they're just going to run after my cavalry, we may as well. Ooh, so they might be able to head us off. Do not want to engage. So as soon as they catch up, run away. So we have managed to get their guns firing again. See, look, they did run towards them. Okay, let's not try to be too clever. Let's see. Now we've managed to make them a bit more accustomed to manoeuvring. Smash into their guns. They're very near this unit of pikes, so watch ca carefully. Okay, run, 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 run. Now, run. Run home. Nope, they're already doing it again. They were stringing out into a long formation. So now let's see what they do. Because the guns on. There's one gun on this section of the wall. Let's try to get you guys engaging with this artillery piece, if that's possible. Although it looks like, for whatever reason, these guys want to try flank around. Oh god, are these guys. There's one man here who looks like he's bugged. Yeah, so these guys are now useless for firing at people on the wall, even though they have a beautiful opportunity. Because this man here is stuck. So let's run. Let's file our calm citizenry. Even though their stats aren't very good, they can pour fire into them and do a reasonable job out of sheer volume. Poor lads. And they are firing... Are they firing some cannons? They're firing one cannon. But you see how much they've stuck around compared to if this was regular muskets. Which it can never be, because he's still stood there. It's nice of them to give us a pike unit to kill. Um, but I'm probably going to cut the recording here because the AI looks like it's just being dopey. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to charge out if they want to take the loss. That's great, but I'm not going to show you guys all of it. So these guys are probably going to route and then that's going to be all that happens. 
So, see you in a sec, guys, when this battle is over. Cheers. Radio guys. So, as you can see, the AI didn't really do anything smart. They just sat there, and the battle is over. My main concern with battle battles like this is that it will just drain away my manpower um, while I've got Britain to the south, causing actual problems and being an actual risk. Especially as they're blockading my port, which I can do nothing about against a navy that size. Cancel you. Cancel you. Because I will, I will lose this territory. So... It is tempting to pretty much... Well, all I can do, I think, is reconstitute my forces to be as strong as they possibly can at the potential risk of losing a unit. Nope, fortunately not. Let's leave them behind. But I think we have to more or less march everyone else out to attack John Churchill. But it's going to be a difficult one. Well, no, it won't be that bad. But I hope not. We're going to have to take these guys out and we have to we have to hit him. Because we can't let him... We can't afford to lose these four units. So let's do it. If we let him take the city, we lose everything. So I suppose there's an argument so I shouldn't have cancelled those buildings. But my main concern is that now Rome is vulnerable. So after this battle, I'd be looking to A, rebuild my army, and B, recruit some garrison troops for Rome. So... Main battle line is going to have to try and march the relatively clean right flank. Same with the cavalry and the general. <gasps> Good God Almighty! Have you seen where the reinforcements are coming in? Charge! There is nothing I can do to prevent the imminent death of these men. Switch of horse I could potentially save. Charge this regiment of horse. Please don't rout. I've got loads of you. So I'm going to try and run my men, but it's still not going to be enough. So my only hope. No. This cavalry. Go after the gunners, if anything. My pikes, these guys, all they can do is just try and mow down as many people as they can. My militia won't hold on. They're just mainly trying to tie up these guys. It's these pikes I want trying to do work. Just flee. Flee with these men. Hope you guys like that dramatic gasp. Still kicking, yeah, they're still kicking. Okay, my cavalry is gonna have to engage, otherwise, they're going to get to my position on the front line before my line is here. So let's run my cavalry along the flank. These guys are already at risk because they're de they're depleted. And okay, let's run you guys to maximise our firepower a little bit more. Everyone else make ready. You may as well attack the yeomanry. Let's 
See our pikes are still hanging on. I told you, pikes are pretty damn awesome. And they are winning. Dudes, I mean, the enemy pikemen that are around here cause some problems. I don't mind if you rout, lads. Know why these guys are moving. So I just need to maximise my firepower against the likes of these pikes that are about to charge in. Infantry are wavering, pikes are slowly dying. Yeah. May even fall back to a position where I can deploy my line even wider to get even more firepower out. Nope, they're pikes. My men have decided they didn't want to run. Some of them wanted to hang around. Some of them did anyway. Keep my infantry back. Cavalry managed to kill, managed to shatter their yeomanry. Their job is to be decoys. I do not want to send my cavalry into those pikes. The job of this infantry is to take up a firing position. Let's try cut them down. Let's speed up time a little bit. I want my men to fully load. Keep my cavalry behind my line. So they aren't tempted to be charged by their pikes. Okay, bring my cavalry back. Because they're being fired upon by a very weak unit of line infantry. Okay, here they okay, their pikes come. My struggle is a guy back there who's who's fighting one of the pikes. Thankfully it doesn't seem to matter. So my cavalry to go take out this weak unit of line infantry, and then they'll probably rout themselves. What the hell is it's children outside and even though my window shut I can still hear them, so sorry guys, you're gonna have to deal with that. So my cavalry have charged this small unit. As long as my cavalry can make them rout, then I'll be okay with that. Although it looks like they might. No good. Let's get my cavalry to chase them down for as long as they can. The pikes are upset at being shot at. Most of their shots look like they're probably hitting these buildings, same with mine. But we're engaging their pikes. Speed up time. There goes the cavalry. See, it says we're losing, but I don't see why we should be, but there we are. I do see their sneaky, sneaky pikemen tactics. So let's try. Here comes the 
general. Is he charging? No, he's not charging. He may bump into my lines. But I'm hoping my guys can shoot him off his horse. Well, he's made it to the lines, but he's probably not going to be there for long, because it looks like he has just been absolutely eviscerated. If we're lucky, we might even... Sadly, we're not going to... It looks like we're probably not going to get to kill Mr. Churchill himself. Lots of good shots onto the 3rd Regiment. Engage their pikes as they march in. They are pretty dangerous, so. Although we are very happy they've turned and walked away. Or well, they were going to walk away. Okay, they're broken, so. Deploy my cavalry to be ready to chase them down. This unit probably could do with someone deploying here. No, don't attack them. Kill your own men. Just walk my line up while charging my cavalry to try and rid the world or rid this part of Italy of as many pikemen as I possibly can. We should do pretty well against this unit. They're being fired upon from multiple directions. They can't focus their firepower. So what have they got? Two units of pikes. Two units of militia and that's it. Look at the dead around here. Those pikes did a great job even though they came in the wrong way. they are currently reorganizing their position I want to charge Let's send my general around the flank to get ready to start to try and pick at some of these units and we must be ready to receive a okay charge this unit with this infantry and also get my general involved we don't want them engaging not while not into the well they're not really they wouldn't really shoot into the flank of my men Pushing get my general to take them on. Okay, now let's get my cavalry involved. Although they're probably all gonna route just so close. Mm. You guys halt fire. Whoa, pikes! Charge the pikes, because they broke. Absolutely continue for as little as it will last, really. units back here. There we go, lads. Every every Brit unit we kill is a unit which doesn't spend its time running around our lands raiding us. Sadly, I don't think we'll have killed it. We'll have pushed them south, which is frustrating because it's away from our battle line. Yep. Okay, let's combine our forces once more to try and immediately... Okay, you can go back to Rome. These forces can... You guys may as well go up to Rome. Attempt 
to rebuild your strength. I'll take all of our you all of our money. Send Mr. Churchill down again to go hit. No, send our guy to go take out Mr. Churchill. Yeah, it's not bad. We've still we managed to kill kill the general. But they need to keep chasing down the enemy while we can. So we want to very specifically do some merging. So that's knocked down our cost for replenishment. We get, well, we don't get much of a garrison. But I want to still get some recruitment done. I doubt I'll be able to make peace with Britain. I thought they would take it for a second. But let's hit enter and see what happens. It's a shame we're going to have to send all those troops south. <gasps> the Brits are going to hopefully defend me from Spanish attack. Please leave my port alone. Please feel too pressured um, by the Spanish to leave them there. Yeah, see? So they're just... Yeah. That's the most frustrating thing about not killing raiding forces and having limited troops because now our front line with... Um, yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you cut one head off and then another one shows up. There's just nothing you can really do. Yeah, I think this this campaign's probably going to be a bust. So I'm probably going to have to try and restart because this is this is unworkable. I'm spending too much time putting out fires that I'm not even. I still have no research, none, zilch. <laughs> I can't afford to buy it because I need to keep my armies up and, up and together. The Venetians are about to attack my little ship. <laughs> my little galley. Did they capture it? Yeah, they captured it, which is just this <laughs> which is just the sprinklers on the top. Um I am tempted to restart because this is this this campaign's untenable. It's like the Greek one, where I'm not I won't make any progress. Because right now I'm dropping behind in the tech race. And I'm not doing any... I'm dropping behind in tech. I'm dropping behind in the army. Sooner or later I'll face an army that's got bayonets. And then I'll be screwed. Because I don't even have bayonets. Yeah. So we've got... So these guys are running around raiding all our stuff in Naples. Got a giant Spanish stack attacking Rome. Um, yeah, this this can't continue. It just really can't. We haven't got the money to continue a campaign going in this strategy. So, my plan will be um, to restart and try and see if I can get my, my original plan of attacking Madrid working. Because of, previously the problem was New Spain allied with France really early on, when they normally don't. So I think I need to be quicker in my army build-up and then go and hit Madrid early and be really cautious. But we're still going to have problems with the Brits and people blockading my capital. Because right now, we've lo we've not got access to any of our trade, which is huge. So, Radio, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for a rebooted campaign. Because this is, this is too much. This is really is too much. I can't. <laughs> I don't want to continue the campaign like this because we've made no progress in the last three, four parts. And I don't see that getting any better. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And see you next time for part seven, which will be a re-re-restart, I think. Cheers, everyone.